So you want to learn Laravel and you don't know how to get started with Laravel, how you will proceed learning Laravel and what are the steps you need to take to learn Laravel easily. So here I am presenting 8 tips to start Laravel and learning Laravel easily. So with that I am your host Sarthak. This is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Okay, so let's start this video and first thing first, before learning Laravel, you need to have a basic knowledge of PHP, object oriented programming kind of things. You know why? Because Laravel uses most of the object oriented programming terminologies. So firstly, if you are having knowledge of PHP, just create a simple project like a to-do list or a simple blog or a CRUD operation with a simple PHP code PHP. Then using object oriented programming, you will get familiar with the terminologies like namespace, like traits, interface, all of these things you have to have before learning Laravel because Laravel has all of these in that. So this will going to help you learning Laravel easily. But if you are using these things, this means if you are using PHP, if you are using object oriented programming system, then obviously you will get lots and lots of error. And where you go when you get the error? Yeah, we will go to Google or Stack Overflow. Same thing has to be done with Laravel. While you are learning Laravel, you need to go to Google or Stack Overflow to find the problems. And I'm damn sure, I'm 99% sure that the problem you have has also arised with someone else and you will surely, surely find the solution of that problem on Stack Overflow or on various other websites. So don't be afraid of having any error, having any problem just go on google exactly type that error on the google and you will definitely find the solution but if you are not getting the solution on the stack overflow or on other websites then you can ask the communities communities for level like laracast.com has great great community you can go there if you want to ask on my community then we have a slack channel we have a whatsapp group for laravel so people are helping each other and you will ask anything it's not about the question you can ask any kind of silly question that will answer by other persons and when you are getting the solution don't just copy and paste that solution try to understand the code try to research on that and see okay I, if i change these things what going to happen if i change that thing what going to happen is this thing is written on the documentation or not so these are the things you need to research when you are using others code as a solution for your error so just put that code on your project doesn't uh, make you a good Laravel developer you need to learn things you don't want to copy the things you don't want to complete the job you just want to learn the things so that whenever you get the error otherwise then you can have the solution on your hand you don't need to go to Google next time for same kind of error so where you want to start but for starting, I highly recommend that you don't go with the Laravel documentation. And don't get me wrong, Laravel documentation is awesome. But you know, it's overwhelming at beginning because these documentation are greatly written, but there is no proper starting point. Yeah, there is a starting point that how you can install, but just after installing, what you have to do? There is no such things that how you create a project, what are the process to start with a Laravel project. And the next point is that the document lineup is not in a sequence. You know, in a digging deeper section of Laravel documentation, you will find the broadcast system at the first. But that broadcast system need to have the knowledge of queue and events and some other things which are not given 
in sequence so firstly you need to learn the last thing then you need to learn the first thing so these are the things which are little confusing so when you go to documentation how you can really start yes i have the knowledge of php yes i know how to find solution yes i'm not going to start with the documentation so where i have to start so what you have to do firstly you need to see what laravel can do so start with the videos like i am creating like laracast jeffrey way is creating like lots and lots of persons are creating laravel tutorial so go and see how you can start with laravel what laravel can do what are the process to start what are the environment you need and you know why i'm saying that starting with the video because if you start with any written document you are just reading but when you are watching any video you just see the things you hear the things and while doing these things you remember the most because while you are watching any tutorial while you are watching any video your two senses are processing same data at the same time and obviously if you have two senses involved in learning one thing your concentration will go high and if you are just for reading anything just hearing anything obviously your concentration level will not go that much high so that's why i highly recommend to start with the videos like i am creating and then after when you get familiar with the basics of laravel then you just need to see how the things works so then is the time to go to laravel documentation and see how each and every section works i highly recommend to read all the documentation so that you will get what are the things laravel can do because if you know what laravel can do then after you will fight for that things that okay laravel send email in a queue but how i i want to learn that you will get a motivation that okay i need to learn that then after you learn the basics after you see that okay how to read the documentation you need to get a paid course for advanced stuffs i highly recommend to go to udemy.com find some advanced tutorials i highly recommend for the laracast.com go and subscribe to that website and i'm recommending you to go to other websites uh, it's not a profitable things for me but i'm doing that because i just want you to learn these things because laravel is so awesome i'm not going to get anything just by recommending laracast.com i'm not going to get any anything by just by recommending udemy courses but what i will get is your blessings so i just want your blessing so go and get paid courses then you have started with the videos yeah you know these things but what are the things you need to keep in mind while watching videos and while taking a great course when you are doing these things don't just watch read or listen do it now this means if you are writing codes if you are creating that project simultaneously as the tutorials progress you will learn things and you will obviously see that okay this tutorial is doing like these things i am also doing like these things but the the same codes working on the tutorial but not on my case then you will go to google you will ask someone and you will learn in this process so this is a most important thing that practice you need to practice while you learn and when you are writing things when you are practicing you will come up with errors and errors are your best friend errors will give you a boost that okay if this is the error i will going to find it solution and i make sure that this error will not going to arise next time you need to have this kind of attitude with the errors then research for in depth this means if you get something then research for that as i have told you before also you need to make sure that how things work you just don't copy the things don't just imitate the tutor just research the things how these things work if you're not understanding go to documentation and see okay these things are working like that so these are the things you will have to do while you are watching any videos or any courses then help others on forum you know when you are teaching 
you will learn the most as i am teaching you i will learn most of the laravel part by just teaching you so if you don't able to teach someone just go on the forums as i have told you like on stack overflow on my website laracast.com or there are lots and lots of websites just go there create an account and answer the question asked by others you know why these things will help you to have a new problem and you are preparing yourself for the problem will arise in the future maybe you have not come up with that kind of error but you have read that question okay this kind of error is there so if i am trying to send an email maybe i get some kind of error and yes this person has asked the question so i go try that if i get the same error i will try that solution and answer that solution on that forum so while helping others you are not only helping others you are helping yourself and while doing these kind of things answering the questions in the forum just explore new websites and make friends on these websites create a community and help each other because helping each other will make you a great programmer but everything is good yes and 99% cases you will find the solution on the uh, google and yes you will going to help others but what if you are having an error which is unique which is not on the internet that error is come up on the first time so how you will solve that you don't have anyone to ask you don't have any mentor so just go find any guru any mentor or teacher so that whenever you have any unique error you can ask them and also you can take some guidance how you proceed on your career how you going to deal with the client how you going to create something what are the data structure what are the table structure these mentors or teachers or guru will help you on each of the step of your uh, learning process and follow them on facebook twitter instagram yeah instagram m is hidden okay and i'm not saying that just follow me on twitter facebook and instagram i just want to say that find a guru or mentor that can be uh, anyone anyone that can be even your friend or even your junior developer if he has great knowledge so just follow them on facebook twitter and instagram and you will feel a connectivity between you and the mentor and the last but not the least don't give up you know sometime what happen that you are creating something you get some kind of error and you are not getting any kind of solution on the internet you are not getting any kind of solution from your mentor and then you will think that okay i don't want to do that it's so tough no it's not so tough it just your mind is stuck on that problem so for that you just need to take a rest don't just stop just take a rest or a pause on your learning process just go and have a refreshment and then you will just go into try something new so whenever you are switching from one situation to another situation your mind will refresh your mind will rearrange its neurons to have a great thing and creating new bond in the new neurons will enhance your thinking skills and when after taking a break when you come back to that same problem you know it creates some magic things and suddenly you get the answer okay i need to do that thing and that will give you a boost that okay taking a rest will make me a great developer the last thing i'm going to say is that keep pushing yourself because if you don't have a confidence on yourself how will you take the confidence of your client on yourself so just keep pushing yourself don't give up and follow these things and i'm sure you will succeed in learning not only laravel on anything if you like this episode just go and subscribe to this channel don't forget to like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram and if you want to support bitfumes just go on the patreon.com and even $1 a month will be a great help for me and don't forget to share these videos with your developer friends so that everyone can get the best thing called laravel so till then keep watching and keep learning bye bye